This is our sixth lesson about deism. In our previous lesson, we did an analysis about boons. In this lesson, we will do the same analysis about owning. We will talk to a deist again, and he will be our addressee. Now, we ask the deist. Suppose that you have some large property and you want to show your wealth and greatness with that property. Suppose that you have tenants. Although everything belongs to you and shows your richness and greatness, people attribute this land to others and speak as follows. This part belongs to Mr. Jack and that part belongs to Mr. William. This part belongs to Mr. Oliver and that part belongs to Mr. George. If people talked like that and divided your property among your tenants, would you not address them as follows? Oh, people, this property belongs to me completely. It is my property. Those whom you think own this property are my tenants. I do not have any partners in my property. You would probably say something like that and you would not accept your property to be divided. Now we will ask you a question. You do not show consent to the division of your property lest your so-called wealth and richness should be harmed. How can Allah, who is the real owner of everything, from you and Adams to the sun, show consent to the division of his property among others? How can he allow his property to be attributed to others? Can his greatness and magnificence allow it? He will definitely not allow and show consent to it. Since Allah wants people to know that all property belongs to him, he sends prophets and books so that we know him as the sole owner of everything. If there were no prophets, we would be confused and divide the property of Allah among his creatures. Look at the people to whom prophets did not reach or reached but who did not heed what their prophets told them. Some of them are atheists. They attribute Allah's property to coincidence and chance, causes and nature. Some of them have found wrong gods. For example, they say the sky belongs to Zeus and is under his control. The seas belong to Poseidon and are under his rule. The underground riches belong to Hades. They utter many other statements like the ones above and divide Allah's property in order to declare that he is the sole owner of all property. Allah sent prophets and books and said, O oh, my servants, all property belongs to me. I do not have any partners in my property. Everything belongs to me, from the atoms to the sun. Do not attribute any partners to me in my property and do not divide my property among them. It does not fit my greatness and magnificence. His sending of the prophets is necessary from this point of view and it is as definite as the oneness of Allah.